Hey buddies, today I'm going to be telling you what's going on. A lot has been happening recently. <laughs> I... What do I want to start with? Maybe we'll start with the most dramatic thing. I was in my first car accident. It was not major, thankfully. I was driving with my dad. I was driving. My dad was in the passenger seat and I was going to go pick us up some pizza. I was at a four-way intersection. I'm going this way. I'm about to turn left. I'm waiting to turn left because there's a pedestrian that like starts crossing the road and then they cut up so they're kind of like walking where I would need to drive instead of walking right across the crosswalk. I don't know if that makes sense what I just said, <laughs> but it, it made me stay there in that spot waiting to turn longer, which fine, that's fine. <laughs> and then a semi truck was coming and I'm like, okay, well I can't pull out in front of the semi truck especially if that pedestrian's in my way. So I waited. I was not there that long. <laughs> anyway, there's the semi truck was going by and a couple cars behind the semi truck, like on the opposite side of the road, you follow? Yeah, there was a big crash and I screamed and it was scary. And uh, I'm pretty sure I was leaning forward, like trying to look around, see if it was safe for me to go left yet or when would it be? Yeah, well, I got whiplash. <laughs> we pulled off to the right, and so did the person that rear-ended us. Like, I felt bad for him. I mean, obviously you don't want to rear-end anyone, but um, one of the first things he said was that he wasn't on his phone. So I was like, okay, really? I don't know. I mean, maybe he probably wasn't, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just a reminder, I guess, like try and limit your distractions when you're driving because thankfully my wheels were not turned. I don't know if other people learned this when they're, um, if they took driving lessons, but um, while you're waiting to turn left, don't prematurely turn your wheels because if you get rear-ended, you'll go head first into the other lane of traffic. So I would have went <laughs> head first into a semi-truck and other cars if I had turned my wheels like when he hit me. So thankfully I was just, you know, <laughs> yeah, so that was good. I was very grateful that I hadn't turned my wheels. Um, and yeah, the guy was really nice. I felt, I did, I did feel bad for him. My neck hurt like the instant we got hit though. The pizza was good. <laughs> I got the pizza um, afterwards, but um, yeah, no, that was shit. I went to work the next morning, stupidly thinking like, oh, it was just a little bit sore. I took an Advil, it didn't help. But anyway, I went for like two hours, it made it so much worse. I went to the ER and missed the rest of work. I shouldn't have gone in the first place. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice though. One of my coworkers, like I was talking to him. I've never been in a car accident before. I didn't know stuff. <laughs> um, anyways, so he was like, oh, well, you're hurt. You should probably go to the ER. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's getting worse and I was getting a headache and it was just, my job is very like labor intensive sometimes. So that was just uh, not not great. But anyway, yeah, he, he was like, your whiplash is gonna get worse. <laughs> you need to go to the hospital. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was grateful for him for that. Um, I went to the hospital and they checked for a concussion and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm good, I just have to take my time and heal, but um, I'm off work for a while and I've been sleeping really well, like a weird amount, partially due to the muscle relaxer pills I've been having to take. I've had to make so many phone calls and it's just been really stressful and trying to figure this all out. Um, yeah, that was really scary. <laughs> anyway, um, on to some good news. <laughs> Um, it's been over just over a week since the accident. My car is pretty okay. I'm not sure if the exhaust pipe I think it's fine. It's maybe slightly bent. <laughs> There's a big black bumper <laughs> Mark on the back of my car, but it's fine. Could have been worse So I'm grateful it wasn't um, even though it's been kind of stressful and Obviously not fun to have to deal with any of that. Sorry. Now we're on to the good news. I'm going on a vacation with my mom and sister in May. We're going to Greece and Italy and I've never been to Europe before so I'm really excited. And I have applied for a job position, like a job transfer, in the area where Siobhan lives. So I think the job posting, um, it closes at the end of March. So I'm hoping I hear back about an interview. 
because I would like to move back in with her. But she's also coming back here in mm, end of April, like after she's done all her school stuff. So if it takes a little bit longer for me to transfer, that's fine because she'll be here for summer and our vacation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thanks for listening to me kind of rant. Reminder, don't go on your phone while driving and don't turn your wheels prematurely if you're turning left. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>